I have never in my life gotten this many compliments on a scent combo. It has become my signature scent. I got a freaking compliment while I was getting my wax. So this scent combo features a... Hi guys, it's Xenia. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a perfume layering combinations video. This is going to be perfume and perfume layering combos. There's not going to be any body mist involved today. But I am so happy to get this out because these layering combos have been getting me the most compliments I think I have ever gotten. And one of these combos specifically is my most complimented out of all of my perfumes out of any combo i've done ever in the past this has been getting me compliments left and right and not just like oh you smell good but i have whole stories to tell you guys about the compliments that i've been getting on that specific perfume combo so stay tuned till the end of this video don't just skip watch the whole video but i will definitely leave the best for last but all of these other ones are also giving me compliments but that one is not only like my most complimented but honestly has become like my signature scent and it's all i've been wearing for like the past week week and a half that i've gotten it because one of the perfumes i've had for a while but the other one is actually a brand new fragrance to my collection so you guys are going to be seeing that in a future haul i told you in my last perfume haul that i just did recently that i have some hauls coming up and i was not lying because i have been buying a few perfumes but i'm still going to be good with what i said about if i'm bringing in new perfumes i'm also going to take perfumes out so my next video was actually going to be a declutter my perfume collection is not going to exceed 200 perfumes anymore so as long as i'm buying i'm also letting go if you guys want to see these amazing combos and you yourself want to be complimented just as much as i have been try these combinations out there's kind of something here for every occasion some more summery ones cleaner ones very signature scent worthy ones and sweeter ones you know we got it all so with all that being said before we get into this video please make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and let's get started so in honor of summer being right around the corner i'm going to show you guys the most summery layering combo that i have in this entire video this combo is so good it's very summery but not in the traditional way that you would think of like a super summery scent i feel like where my mind goes to first when i think of like summer scents is something coconutty or tropical fruits and in that way this has a tropical vibe to it but they're not like super coconutty scents they're not basic scents let me just say that they're very very sexy and the combination of both these perfumes when they come together they make magic so i start off with this and i actually don't think i've talked about this perfume in a really really long time or honestly ever on my channel let me know if i've ever talked about this scent but this is one of my favorite scents so i don't know how this has slipped for me and i've never included it in a video or maybe i have and i'm just drawing a blank but i'm pretty sure i haven't this is estee lauder bronze goddess and not only just me but i feel like nobody really talks about this scent i don't know if it's just an underrated scent and people don't know about it or if people don't like it i don't know what the deal is because this is one of the sexiest summer scents that you could possibly wear forget about soleil blanc forget about replicas beach walk this is your ultimate sexy summer perfume right here not those this they've just taken all of the elements of a beautiful summer scent and made it like 10 times sexy think of kind of black opium in a way but make it summery you know without that coffee note just that like sexy sweetness of black opium but you just threw in like a little bit of coconut not in like a sunscreeny way just to add a little tropical fruitiness to it some frangipani which is like a beautiful tropical fruit a little bit of jasmine and then this does end off with vanilla a woody cashmere vibe amber and slightly musky and i believe this one that i have right here i've had this for a few years and it's still just as good to me i did recently smell i guess the new formulated version of this this is the eau de parfum i know that they have a few flankers in the bronze goddess line my personal favorite is the eau de parfum bronze goddess so i did recently smell the new I guess formulated one which they changed the bottle completely it's in like a rectangular square bottle whereas this one is like all bronzed obviously keeping with the theme of it being called bronze goddess I prefer this 1000 times over I, I keep I'm gonna put that down because it's like blinding the screen but I prefer this like packaging and everything way more to the new version now i don't know if the new version is also reformulated in the sense that it smells different i did smell it and i didn't really notice that much of a difference but 
What I did notice is that I think this one is stronger. If you guys have the new version and you maybe had this one in the past too and you can compare, let me know your thoughts on it. Now you can wear that alone and you're gonna be good to go. You're gonna be smelling amazing. But when you pair it up with this, something happens. This is Sol Cherosa 62 by Sol de Janeiro. This is the Eau de Parfum. This is basically the perfume version of the ever so famous Cherosa 62 Brazilian Crush body spray that everyone and their mothers is obsessed with, including me. It's like the best smelling scent ever. And basically this is the exact same scent in a perfume form, so it lasts a little bit longer. It's a little bit more concentrated. It smells just like the Boom Boom cream and everything. And that's another thing that I like to layer with, so I put on the Boom Boom Cream, add this, add this, and I will literally be smelling like a bronzed goddess. The sexiest summer scent combo you will ever come across. This is like caramelly, it has some almonds, some pistachio, vanilla, a little bit of saltiness. If you have any like summer parties or vacations coming up or anything, that is going to be the combo that you're gonna wanna wear. Those perfumes are perfect even by themselves. You don't necessarily need to mix them, but when you do mix them, it just takes them to a whole other level. Then the next combo, I've actually talked about this in a shorts video. I recently did a shorts and I showed you guys basically the exact layering combo that I do for this. If you love vanilla, Vanilla, this is going to be your scent combo. This scent combo is super, super sweet, so you're definitely gonna wanna keep that in mind. If you're someone that doesn't really like sweet fragrances, I probably wouldn't go in this direction, but this is the most intoxicating scent combo ever, and I've talked about it in a few of my past videos, I think, but I needed to include this in like an actual layering video because like I said, I did just recently talk about it in the shorts, and you guys told me that you love the combo. So this combo is including this fragrance, which is very shocking for me to be holding up. I did an entire haul video basically explaining my reasonings behind why I got Kaali Vanilla 28. If you know, you know. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, basically I used to hate this fragrance in the past. I have videos literally, I want to say bashing it, but kind of bashing it because I just said how much I didn't like it, it smelled really mature to me. I just didn't get what everyone was getting, but now I really love it and I honestly think that they changed the formula or something because I'm pretty sure the one that I got when I tried this out the first time was a lot lighter, like the juice was a lot lighter and this one seems a lot darker and it's just so much better to my nose now. Like it's so sexy and vanilla-y. But I have been pairing that up with Black Opium Le Parfum. This scent actually has four different vanillas in it and this is a flanker. I did a whole dedicated review to this perfume and it is basically just a bunch of vanillas in the most intoxicating, seductive way ever. It honestly strays from the formula of Black Opium completely in my opinion. There's like maybe 5% of that in here, but it's so much better. It just offers so much more. If you guys are familiar with Shirosa 40 by Sol de Janeiro, it kind of gives me a vibe to that, but just more intense, more perfumey, and yeah, intoxicating. That's like the best way to put this. And this combo right here, it's on another level. And I urge you to go check out my shorts video that I put out with this combo because I also talked about how I layer this with like body wash, lotion, it was like an entire um, scent layering video. So check out that video and see what else I also pair that up with. But as far as like a perfume combo, you need to try that. I wore that combo all throughout my cruise that I recently went on. Every single dinner, that's what I would wear. And every time I would spray it, I would just be so in love with the scent. Because it's a little bit stronger, it's the type of scent where you're gonna keep getting whiffs of it throughout your night. And my husband was also a huge huge fan of that combo. This next combo I totally do not take credit for because I think I saw this on TikTok or something. Somebody said that this scent combo was like their most complimented combo ever and that it was literally super intoxicating. Like they were going on and on about this scent combo. I'm not gonna lie, I never would have thought to put these two scents together because these two perfumes by themselves are some of like my strongest, most intense, fill up a room type of perfumes that I have. 
and I never thought to, to put them together because they're already so strong on their own. But once I actually tried it, I totally got the hype. There's just something magical that happens with this combo. Let me just show you. So this combo includes Delina. This scent is so unlike any scent that I've ever smelled. It's a heavily complimented scent, especially by men. I don't know what it is about this scent, but it's super, super feminine. So I think that's why men really love this on women like it just embodies femininity if you're going to test this fragrance out or you're thinking about buying it i wouldn't say to blind buy it because i do think that there is something polarizing in here but what i will say is if you have i don't know if this is in a nordstrom I know for sure it's in a Saks Fifth Avenue. So if you have a Saks Fifth Avenue anywhere near you, I would urge you to go there and spray this on your skin. Not your clothes, but on your skin because this smells entirely different on the skin than it does out the bottle or even on clothes because when it mixes with your natural chemistry is when you're really gonna be able to know if you like this scent or, or not. So just do that and then make up your mind about this fragrance because that was basically what was the deciding factor for me with this scent because out the bottom I'm like oh this smells really rosy and kind of bitter I don't know if I would like that but on my skin it was just magical so this has lychee rhubarb so it's a little bit like bitter and almost a little sharp when it starts off but then you get some peony a lot of rose in it really pretty like pink florals mixed with a little bit of vanilla because it is a little bit sweet and then it dries out a little bit woody it even has incense now i wouldn't really say that this is smoky in any way but i feel like it just adds some uniqueness to it this scent is not that sweet on its own it has a little hint of sweetness so to bring back that sweetness at full force you mix that in with Killian Love Don't Be Shy. Now I know this is a hefty, hefty perfume combo. Like these two scents are very expensive. But these two scents do have a ton of dupes out there and dupe houses that have almost perfectly imitated these scents. So if you really wanted this type of scent combo, you could find it in another way without having to go out and actually spend the money on these. But what love don't be shy does to delina is it just adds like a softness to it because on its own the scent is very strong and bold and slightly sharp this adds creaminess to it this marshmallowy powder scent it kind of just softens it this literally smells like the valentine's day sweethearts candies like the powderiness of those the sweetness of those it is literally the sweetest fragrance I own. I never would have thought to put these together, but quite honestly, this scent combo is so intoxicating. I've worn it on date night and I got so many compliments from like the people around us. My husband absolutely loved it. So I highly recommend you check this scent combo out and let me know your thoughts. Now let's tone it down a bit. This scent combo is first of all, a lot less expensive than what I just showed, but it's very fresh and very tame. This is for those everyday kind of days it's not going to be too much or anything like that so this combo includes victoria's secret very sexy oasis i don't know how to explain this scent but it's such a beautiful scent i feel like this scent would be like a perfect wedding day scent because it just smells so clean and fresh but kind of elegant at the same time and feminine and there's actually only three notes in here so you get two bros camellia and orange blossom so obviously florals but it doesn't really smell like it's like an insanely floral scent it's just super pretty and elegant and feminine that's basically how i can explain it but there's nothing sharp in it there is honestly the sexiness in it involved and I, I don't know how to pinpoint it it's a really hard fragrance to describe but i've basically been wearing that mixed up with miracle by lancome this is another scent where i never thought i would like but it has become one of my favorite scents. I discovered this in Greece. Basically, everyone in Greece was wearing Miracle by Lancome. I would smell it all the time and we would go out. And then my cousin told me that she wore it and then my aunt also wore it. So I, it was constantly a scent that I smelled and I really, really loved it. And then when I came back to the States, I was craving this scent. And as soon as I smelled it, it just brought back all those memories from my vacation. This is so beautiful. I used to think that this was very mature but honestly i don't think that anymore this is just a really pretty feminine elegant scent it's kind of spicy it does have florals in it obviously but very tame florals 
It has jasmine in it, which I absolutely love. It's a very soft, elegant, again, scent with like this spiciness. And I love spiciness in perfumes. If you're getting married, if you're a bride-to-be, this is gonna be the perfect scent combo to wear because it's just so light and airy, but just so elegant and so sexy because it's so feminine. I love it. That combo literally screams out feminine energy. All right, and now we have made it to the last and final combo for this video, and I've definitely saved the best for last. This scent combo, I have never in my life gotten this many compliments on a scent combo. It has become my signature scent. I've been wearing this every single day, no matter where I go, whether it is to the grocery store or to a wax appointment. Yes, you heard that right, a wax appointment. I got a freaking compliment while I was getting my wax. So this scent combo features a brand new fragrance to my collection and it is a perfume by Le Labo. This is called Another 13. This is so freaking good. Even the sales rep at Le Labo was telling me about how this perfume is just, it's kind of like low key and you think it's not the strongest scent ever, but literally everyone around you will literally follow you because they're going to be hypnotized by your scent and are going to immediately want to ask you what you're wearing because there's something in here that kind of acts as almost like a pheromone i after a while of wearing this i get a little bit like nose blind to the scent i can smell it if i really really smell my skin but you would think after wearing this for a while that it's not that strong but it's the type of scent where maybe after a while you get desensitized to it and you really need to like put your nose up to smell it but everyone around you is going to smell it strongly and not in like an obnoxious kind of way, just like in a really, really good kind of way. This perfume has a very similar scent profile to Juliet Has a Gun, Not a Perfume. It's that type of scent where it smells different on each person. This perfume will kind of react to your natural skin chemistry. Personally, this does really, really good for my skin. I get compliments on it like no other, but especially when I mix it with Baccarat Rouge. This scent, it's not that it smells like Baccarat Rouge, but I feel like if Baccarat Rouge was like really, really watered down and really clean, kind of, it would kind of smell like another 13. And now I don't want to make that sound like this is a really watered down scent because it's not. This is really woody and like clean and crisp. This is also a unisex fragrance. It has that ISOE Super and the Cetalox, which I believe Cetalox is the same thing as Ambergris, which is why I think this smells like not a perfume because not a perfume only has Ambergris in it. So it just has those like molecular type of notes that just react with everyone's skin differently. And the way that I wear this is first with this, I will go everywhere with it. Like I will really, really spray down. I'll do obviously both sides of my neck. I'll do my pulse points. And then I kind of just do another spray. It's kind of a lot. I maybe overdo it, but that's just how I do it. And then with Baccarat Rouge, I don't go that crazy with spraying this. First of all, this is a really really strong scent but the way that i wear it is after i sprayed that in the beginning then i go with baccarat rouge and i literally do two sprays kind of like from afar just so that it kind of hits a little bit more um area and that is how i wear that and something about that freaking combination so let me tell you guys the whole story i was getting a freaking brazilian wax and once i was finished and i was getting ready to leave the room she was like you smell amazing by the way she's like this entire time i'm like this girl smells so freaking good and she was like it's like a very signature worthy scent where i was smelling you and i was like wow like that smells amazing like that's literally what she told me and I was like, wow, like, thank you. That's literally the best compliment ever because literally you could tell me any compliment ever. You smell good is the best compliment, period. Hands down, that's my favorite compliment. And then later on that day, I went and met up with my parents and my mom was like, what perfume do you have on? Like, that smells really, really good. And I told her about this. And she was telling me how she wants to steal it from me and so many more other interactions that I've had with this combo. It's just a great combo. If you have those scents, pair them up together. I'm really sorry that, again, that is also a very expensive scent combo. So I'm sorry about that. I didn't mean to put like really high-end fragrances in this video. It's just what I've been grabbing for lately. But this combo is not only like a super complimented combo, but it's my signature scent at the moment. Like if you wanna know what I smell like, it's this. All right, so that is it for this video. I hope you guys like these combinations. I feel like I say it in every one of these combos video, but 
this is my favorite scent combo to date because like I said, not only because I've never gotten compliments like this ever from perfumes, but not only for that reason, I truly love these scents and the way that they mix with one another just takes them to a whole other level and will give you something more unique than you just wearing the one fragrance that somebody else could also smell like. It just makes you smell more unique. I think that's kind of the point with layering combos is to create a scent that's amazing out of two scents that are already amazing, but you can just make it that much more better. Why wouldn't you? Let me know your favorite scent combos to wear lately. Leave those in the comments, but that is it for me today. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!